Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Lucy B here with another avatar tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how to head swap an avatar of one model onto the body of another model. So say you have your favorite avatar that you always wear, but you wanted to try out a new model and none of your clothes that you already have for your old model fit the new body. Well, why not just head swap the new head onto your existing avatar body? In this video today, we're going to go over exactly how to do that with a super simple tool called Chimera Maker. Before we transition over to that, I just want to say if you are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe. I am trying to hit 500 subscribers, so it would mean a lot if you could help out. So let's get into the video. First things first, you're going to want to navigate to this link here. Um, it is the Chimera Maker tool by Santania Shopping. Super, super useful tool. I'll go ahead and drop a link to it in the description, but you're going to need this in order to do it in the most simple way possible. That way, all of your gestures and expressions transfer over to the new avatar. So add this to your cart and download it here. It's only 300 yen, so not too bad at all. Definitely worth it for the time that you'll save. And then pick out your two models that you want to head swap with. So in this case here, this is my old model, Lifa. I used to wear her all the time. And um, since she's a little bit older, she's not getting a lot of outfits made for her anymore. And a lot of her old outfits were made on the SDK too, which sometimes causes errors. So I want to put Lifa's head onto the body of Manuka, the avatar I'm wearing now. So once you've added both of those to your cart, or if you already have them, you know, locate them on your computer, time to get them into Unity. Now here we are in Unity. I have my Manuka prefab here. So before you import your models, make sure that you have any shaders that you might need. Manuka and Leafa both use Lil Tune, so I already imported that. Next thing, we're going to find the prefabs of our model. And then just drag it into the scene. What I like to do is make sure that you put it on the zero point on the X, Y, and Z axis. So just reset that there. And then the second model we're working with is Lifa. Let's find her and put her into the scene. Make sure that she's also on the zero point in the X, Y, and Z axis. Now it doesn't really matter whether you do this before or you do this after you merge the models, but I'm just going to do it before. So since we're removing Manuka's head, all I need to do is remove her head, which is, in this case, her body. Um, so let's just left click and delete her head completely. And then with Lifa, what I'm going to do is delete her body. So Karada, or character, is her body. So let's go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to delete everything else associated with her body. So her outfit, everything on the lower half of the model. So we can delete her outer, her socks, her shoes. You could keep her tail. If you like her tail and ears and want to put it on the new model, you can totally do that. In this case, I want to use Manuka's ears and tail. So I haven't deleted her ears or tail here. So just deleting everything that we don't need from Leafa, inner, nail, tail. And then you can decide too whether you want to keep the hair what I'm going to do is keep Leafa's hair and delete Manuka's hair. So let's delete everything on Manuka that we don't want. So her front ribbon side, hairpin, we'll keep her ears and we'll delete everything else. I think the Atama too. Yeah, that's part of her hair. We'll delete that. All right, so everything is all set up. I'm going to delete Leafa's ears as well because I'd like Manuka's ears. And then just for funsies, I'm going to turn them into cat ears. There we go. Perfect. Now she's all set up and ready to be merged. So go to wherever you downloaded the Chimera Maker and drag it into your project. I already have it into my project. So the instructions do come in three languages, Japanese, English, and Korean, which is super helpful because I speak English. But if you ever need to, feel free to use Google Translate to translate the instructions if you're having trouble or getting stuck. It's going to be in this menu right here. Click on this, Chimera Maker, and then the 
The avatar for the head and the avatar for the body, as you can see, it switches to English here. All you need to do is drag this into the avatar for the body and drag this in to the avatar for the head. We want Leafa's head and Manuka's body. And then create a chimera. Perfect. So look, there it is. It's all created. It's ready to go. We'll go ahead and put it into play mode here, and I can show you how the gestures work and everything too. See, all of her gestures are preserved and transferred over into the FX layer. One final caveat with this is the viewpoint may have changed. Um, so you're going to want to click on your avatar here. This is how the world looks um, from your headset. So go ahead and go down to the pipeline manager by clicking on the avatar. Under here where it says avatar descriptor, click on edit the viewpoint. It should be just right in between your eyes, right above your nose. You can pull it out a little bit if you want to, but it's only slight. Say you want to merge Manuka with, say, Lashusha. Since she's really tall, the viewpoint will really need to be adjusted on that one. But since Manuka and Leafa are pretty much the same height, we barely had to adjust the viewpoint. And you're good to go. You're ready to upload or add clothing, makeup, hair, accessories, and customize it and make it your own. If you wanted to do this and delete the clothing afterwards, you could do that too. You could also do this the other way around. So say you wanted to make the chimera first and then delete the head or the body of the avatar that you don't want. You could also do that after. It works the same way. It really is up to you though. And there you have it. The successfully head swap model is in VR chat and she's ready to go. As you can see, all of her gestures and expressions have been transferred over successfully. I also put new eyes and a new hair color on her just for fun. But yeah, she should be good to go. You are all set. I hope this short and sweet video helped you. You can definitely head swap your avatar in a super quick, simple, and easy way with this awesome tool. Last time I tried to do this, it took me over 70 hours and the gestures were all messed up and I had to have help from a ton of outside sources. So with this tool, just doing it in a couple clicks, oh my goodness, it is such a lifesaver. I hope it helped you as much as it helped me. Best of luck creating all of your avatars. As always, feel free to reach out with any questions or feedback in the comments down below. I'll try to get to it and respond to it when I can. And if you want to join our community, feel free to join the Discord as well. We have meetups in VR chat and a VR chat group too. Um, all in all, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. You take care. Bye.